and uh, also uh, June Mandawil, also here. And uh, the, the, the last, uh, we have uh, Muhajirin Ali, uh, the, third, the third. Sorry for, uh, I, I cannot see him, uh, that's why. Uh, <laughs> small, <laughs> small person, I cannot see. <laughs> okay. So these are the working horse of the MILF to continue the job that is unfinished. Our heartfelt gratitude is given to the government of Malaysia under the leadership of His Excellency, Datu Sri Nagib Tun Razak, for upholding its facilitation and support to the priest process. We know that Malaysia has been with us for so many years in search for peace. May Allah continue to bless and guide His Excellency and government uh, always. Finally, let me once again call on everyone to continue to join hands in securing the ever-elusive peace in Mindanao by supporting and strengthening the advocacy for the success of the Bangsamoro peace process. Together, we can all hope that this gathering is the start of something good. The future is full of good promises and opportunities. We must not fail in this great undertaking, inshallah. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, Ex Excellency Al Haj Murad, for the delivery of the speech. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I now call upon His Excellency Tunku Dato Abu Ghaffar bin Tunku Muhammad, facilitator of the peace process, to deliver his speech. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And good morning to all. Excellency, let me acknowledge the presence of my Deputy Prime uh, Deputy Defense Minister, uh, soon to be. <laughs> uh, give a hand, please. And I would like to acknowledge the presence of the representative from Sabah, sir, please. And of course, my old friend, my colleague, my partner, Jess, in crime, in crime <laughs> and in peace, and in love. We share the same uh, aspiration. <laughs> and I would like to welcome the government representative of the GPH, all the ministers, and especially the house leader, congressman, because you are the key to the peace process. <laughs> Without you, all the good job they had done, not me, they had done, just waste of time. So we call upon you once again. See that whatever is a durable passing. And all the ministers, thank you very much for supporting the process. My good friend, Ambassador Malaya, we changed his name from Malaysia to Malaya <laughs> to indicate the closeness of our bilateral relation within the two countries. Malaya is freedom because it's free to be, to uh, cemented a good relation between our two countries. Our um, governor, Hataman, is a key man ensuring that the transition we move on. 
and to my dear international communities. We have been together for the last couple of six years, during my time, at least. You have done a good job. You had brought about changes in outside parameters. And of course, we still need you. That's what the two gentlemen, two players, two actors had mentioned this morning. I'd like to echo my deputy defense minister that this is a milestone, not only for us, but for the, the region. We are watching, the region are watching. We hope and pray that peace in this region will prevail. We have the task is in a modern world. I, I'm sorry to say this. Today is a meeting of mind of young people, all young. Young in mind, that is important. <laughs> they are young. See, uh, Haji Murad is younger two days from me. <laughs> Jess is younger and up two, three years. But we are all young. Irene, you are young. <laughs> young and beautiful. <laughs> Shall I continue that word? No. Jojo, you remain the key person. <laughs> Nabitan is a man who has uh, been working throughout his life, pursuing peace. I know peace is very elusive. That's the reason why Malaysia continues to support to be the peace partner with the Philippine government and the actors and all the, uh, the government actors and non-government actors in Mindanao to secure peace. Of course, we have a strategic reason for the region, for the, our country and for our region. We are facing a new task. I'd like to congratulate the appointment of Jess as a peace advisor. I know Jess. We are together way back 2000, together with Datu Asana. At that time, she is young and beautiful. I'm young and handsome. Oh, she is, she is. I don't make that judgment because I need third party judgment. Because third party is very important in the process. But third party must be fair, must be balanced. And this process is successful because we have a balanced, fair third party facilitations, including me and my uh, international communities for the last couple of years. They are the, the, the actors behind the scene who help me, help the Philippine government, and help uh, MILF to be exposed to the new venues, new options. But the decision are this, are the two parties, the MLF and the GPH. We just give views, expose, Perhaps the, the importance of the learn processes in other parts of the world as the key to the process of, of the peace process. I have to, to remind you all today, the peace process in Philippine is a global milestone. It has been noted by a global partners, including big powers, that you are able, sir, both the two, it's difficult to, to resolve the stubborn, rebellious, revolutionaries group to put down an arm to, for real peace. And for the Philippine government, it's rare, are willing to share the nation share to accept the beauty of, of a peace and tranquility in not only in the northern Mindana, uh, northern Philippines, but in southern Philippines. We have been historical baggage for the last 
more than 50 years, I think millions of people died, and thousands and thousands of people displaced. And the problem is our minister in Sabah had to look into. I am I'm right, sir? So with that, sir, I had to once again congratulate Jess for being uh, appointed as the peacemaker. And uh, I acknowledge your speech that you sincerely want to have peace. And for Malaysia, we will continue to be your peace partners because we believe in moderation. We believe that's our policy. We believe in moderation and we believe in peace. Conflict does not bring any good. Conflict brings destruction to all of us. With that, sir, thank you very much for this morning. Thank you, His Excellency, Tunku Dato Abigafar, for the delivery of the speech. The Honorable Deputy Minister, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we have now come to the highlight of the program, which is the launching of the, implement, the, launching of the implementing phase and related discussions on the Mindanao Peace Agreements, as well as a multimedia presentation on the roadmap to the Mindanao Peace Agreements, entitled The Journey. I now invite the Honorable Datuk Seri Muhammad Johari bin Baharum, His Excellency Secretary Jess Dureza, His Excellency Al Haj Murad Ibrahim, and His Excellency Tunku Dato Abu Ghaffar bin Tunku Muhammad to officially launch the implementing phase and related discussions.
Thank you, the Honorable Dr. Sri Johari, His Excellency Secretary Duriza, His Excellency Al Haj Murad, and His Excellency Tunku Dato Abu Ghaffar for the official launching of the implementing phase. The Honorable Dr. Sri, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the program. And I would like to invite the Honorable Dr. Sri Muhammad Johari bin Baharum, His Excellency Secretary Jess Dureza, His Excellency Al Haj Murad Ibrahim, and His Excellency Tunku Dato Abu Ghaffar bin Tunku Muhammad, and also the panels of the Government of the Philippines and the MILF for a photography station at the photo booth at the foyer. Right after the photography station, I would like to invite the Honorable Dato Sri Muhammad Johari bin Baharum, His Excellency Secretary Just Duray.